My Alcantara steering wheel is in a very sorry state at the moment, so I'm going to be showing you how to fix it and make it look brand new using household items. So as you can see on my Alcantara steering wheel, it's gone all smooth and greasy and there's a bit of tinge of brown and it's a bit dirty. And then the transition from the leather on the steering wheel to the Alcantara is a smooth transition, whereas normally it's meant to be all furry and soft like a rabbit. So what I'm going to do now is show you the products I'm going to use and then we'll go from there. So I went to the forums to find out what is the best thing to use to clean the Alcantara and a lot of people actually recommended baby wipes which is something that I use every day for pretty much everything in terms of cleaning and it actually works brilliantly. So I'm going to be using baby wipes and I'll be using a toothbrush uh, to be agitating the areas which needs applying and then I'll also be using a microfiber cloth just to soak up any residue and take off any dirt and I'll probably rinse and repeat that and see what the results are like. Right so the first thing I want to do is get a baby wipe and then start wiping down the areas but it does say in the forums that you shouldn't be too vigorous with your movement. You treat it very gently and try and be soft of it because I think it's very fragile this Alcantara and it doesn't take a lot for it to be ruined so make sure well we already see how much has already come off that is disgusting but yes you should be very careful how you approach on wiping it down because I've seen a few steering wheels ruined where people have been too abrasive and vigorous with their wiping and toothbrush mechanism or using a very hard brush they essentially ruin their steering wheel but yeah, so far that is what's come off and I guess, I'm going to guess there's more to come. Well, I've worked into the steering wheel a lot with the bay wipes and now I'm going to brush it with a toothbrush and hopefully we should get some results. We just want to bed it in to give it a furry look. Now, I don't know if you can see this through, through my GoPro, but it's actually brought up a lot of dirt, surface dirt, after applying the toothbrush so then I'm going to do another round of baby wipes and hopefully that'll keep bringing it out so we're going to keep rinsing repeating this process and hopefully we will be able to itch out the dirt. Now to wipe down the surface and give it a bit of a wipe to dry it off a little bit. Oh wow I can look at all that dirt that's come off onto my microfiber cloth. Oh dearie me. Right, now that I've dried it off again, I'm going to do some more agitating with the toothbrush. And already I can start to see some more fur appearing on my steering wheel. Well, as you can see in the white baby wipe, the uh, dirt is now very few far between. So it does seem like it's actually taken the dirt out and it is working. So it's just now a matter of repeat the process, rinse and repeat. And hopefully we should get a good fluffy bunny at the end. Well everyone, you know, join me the next day. I had to stop filming due to losing too much light. So I continued the job off camera and I essentially got the hairdryer to dry off the Alcantara and basically got a toothbrush to fluff up the Alcantara. And if you compare clean to unclean, the difference is inconceivable. And if you just compare what it looks like now, if you just get your finger, you can manipulate the way Alcantara looks because there's so much fluff now you can get streaks in it and where you compare it to the other side it's looking very sorry for itself and it's very dirty slimy and greasy looking and then you compare it to this side hard to see in camera but it's a lot more dark and gray i think my camera's a bit exposed but it's a lot more dark and gray in this side and this side is really greasy and gray looking and then if you compare the way it sounds the level of cleanliness is very audible so if you get your hand and go rub it down to here you get a leather transition to a soft transition. So we're doing now. And on this side, you get a sound where it just continues being leathery. So yes, not only does it look aesthetically more pleasing, but it feels more pleasing to hold. And then it also sounds more pleasing to hold compared to the untouched side. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to clean up the other side and then we'll see what the finished result is. So first of all, all you want to do is get a baby wipe and wipe down the Alcantara to remove as much dirt as possible. Whilst the steering wheel is damp, then use the toothbrush to agitate all of the areas to bring as much surface dirt 
I then rub down the steering wheel with a microfiber cloth to itch out as much dirt as possible and then I repeat this process. Lastly, I use the hairdryer to dry off the Alcantara and then I use a toothbrush to try and fluff up the steering wheel to give you that really soft, furry look. Right everyone, I've just completed cleaning my steering wheel and can I just say, it looks absolutely sensational and I've taken countless of B-roll shots, but it just does not do the work justice and how it looks in person. It looks so much better. So um, I apologize for that. You just have to take my word for it. So here is the finished result and it just looks absolutely resplendent in terms of how it looks now compared to before. It, it, lo it looks like a brand new steering wheel. And I have to be completely transparent with you, this was all off the cuff. I have never cleaned this steering wheel before, or any steering wheel for that matter. And I'm not really sure if it's been cleaned before that because it came pretty dirty when I bought it. So the fact that it's now turned up as good as this, when it's just had literally like one clean in how many years? And it's just literally just had baby wipes, a toothbrush and a microfiber cloth and a bit of labor and a bit of persistence it's just come up like that it's a remarkable transformation with such little effort if i'm honest and the tools that are required to do it so yes i highly recommend this method in terms of cleaning your steering wheel and thank you to everyone on the c63 forums for recommending using baby wipes because it is just literally come up so brilliantly and the fact you can do this so easily at home with things that you have probably lying around at home instead of using some special equipment is incredible and once like i said i have not cleaned the steering wheel ever and probably hasn't been cleaned maybe before me so yeah you should probably keep on top of it more often and you probably get a much better result than i did so if you probably did it a few more times uh more regularly and keep on top of it it'll probably look even better than this does so yes highly recommend this method and keep on top of it and you will be rewarded greatly well everyone i hope this video has helped you in some form of way and if you do have some baby wipes some microfiber towel and a toothbrush and perhaps an hour of your time then i highly recommend this method because the results of my steering wheel are absolutely monumental and considering this is my first time like i said it was i've never cleaned a steering wheel before it is a very remarkable result so if you have enjoyed this video then please do give it a like and subscribe because it really does go a long way and helps out a lot so thank you so much for watching and until next time bye for now